Yeah, KG Oro. Today I'm going to do a start on a BMW. I will show you the process how I'm going to do the job. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, BMW S6. That is the job we're doing today. I've never done it before, but I will show you the process how it's going to be done. Subscribe and like to my YouTube channel, KG Oro. Let's go get it. All right, KG Auto Repair, we're here right now. About to do a start on this 2011 uh, BMW uh, uh, 6 or uh, 6X, X6, whatever they call it. <laughs> X6, X6, whatever they call it. Just gonna go to the back to confirm that. Yeah, X6. So it's being uh, diagnosed. I'm gonna show you exactly what is going on. The reason why the star is about to be replaced. And I put a key inside the car right now. Put a key right there in the slot. Yeah, it, the horn works very well. But when you push the button right here, you hear like a clicking sound. That's all. So there's nothing more. So the star is about to be replaced. We're about to do it. Right now, I've never done this before. This is my first time. So I'll show you all the difficulties, anything that, that I come across that was hard for me, I'll show you. I may not be able to show everything, but I'll show you just, just that much if you want to do this kind of job. All right, KG Auto Repair. We'll be back. Let's go Repair, it. like I was saying on this in 2011, X6 BMW. So the star is located right in here. See that hole right there? That's where the star is located. So I didn't really take off this intake right here. What I did was uh, I lose the intake, then I, I move it to the side. You know, see the way I did it? Because there's some, some kind of cable down there, you know, head by hole to the, it was attached to the intake. So it was kind of, kind of difficult me taking it out. So I just found another way to take it out. The only thing that I see that is a little bit more difficult is the boat right at the back there. I'm going to show you yeah, the boat is uh, the boat at the back there. Morning, how you doing? Yeah, this boat right here, that one is on top and the other one is in bottom. So I have to kind of sneak back there to be able to get this boat out. It's a 13. Uh, a 12, uh, a 12, uh, you know, wrench, a socket, you know, so that's it. So the starter is right here now. You see the starter right here. This is the old one, and this is the new one. Anytime you get a starter, you want to try to match it up, you know. As you can see, the starter is bad. You see the teeth. See, it's moving around. It's not supposed to be moving. When you come to this one, it move around like moving, uh, move like free, coming out. You know. So this is a new one. And you match it up. It has one pin right there. And it has one pin right here. So look at the star. It looks. Ah. Uh, I'll see. The same. I put it like this. All right, we'll be right back. Okay, so here's the starter. Apparently, the one that she bought was from AutoZone. It was the wrong one, but uh, I took that one back. AutoZone didn't have it, so I have to go to Arch to get it. So here's the right starter. So I'm about to put it in now. Like I was saying before, the starter goes right in here. I'm going to show you. What I did. Yeah, the starter is right from here. So I didn't take up the O intake. I sneak out the starter right from here. See right there. I'll sneak it back in there. See the star right there? See right there? That's the starter. So I sneak it through there to put the starter in there. See the starter is in right there now. 
as a star right there, it goes through that hole. As I match it up, match it up, I will show you the procedure. All right? KGR, we'll be back. KGR, as you can see, the starter is already in. So this is what I did to take off the, the outside boat. You can see the extension that I put. See how long it is? That was how, what I did to take off that boat right there. Then, then the one on the corner, I just have to lay to get it out. You can see the star is already in. I didn't take off the intake. I just put it one side to, to deal with that. All right, KGR, I'll show you the rest process as I continue. It's just I'm the one I'm videoing it and I'm working at the same time. Well, I'll continue to show you step by step. Star okay, okay, I just uh, installed the starter on this um, BMW S6. The starter is in, like I was saying earlier on today. Uh, the biggest part of this job was uh, the both, the starter both right in the back there. But I didn't take off the, I did not take off the, 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 in, uh, the intake completely because there's so many wires there like connected to the intake. So it was a little bit difficult for me to move those wires. So I just decided to raise it up. So this is the, the tools that I use for the starter. There's so one long one, one long one coming in like this and the other one going in like that, the short one. So I was able to get through the long one by using these uh, tools. I have this curve, you know, this is what I use to get that long booth, you know, I was able to get that one. So you have to disconnect all this, you know, this compartment and all of that. You know, it's a doable job. It's just a job that you have to take your time and all of that. So I'm about to connect the rest thing now. I just uh, start the car and it started. But I'm going to finish connecting everything, put on the intake and all of that, and uh, we'll go get it. KGR, we'll be back. Starter 2011 X6. We're doing it. Let's go get yeah, it. Yeah, like I was saying today, KGR. So we did that job completely. The car started beautifully well. I was happy. The owner is happy on that BMW X6. We did the job. It was my first time. It was a little bit, you know, I had, I, you know, in Tago, some a little difficulty, but at the end of the day, the job was done. I'm happy. The owner is happy. Everybody is happy. KG Auto, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like and subscribe and ring the bell. KG Auto, thanks for watching. See you next time.